piece more with a little reason about Omar McLeod's failure to qualify for the Olympic Games. So Omar McLeod has been a wonderful ambassador for Jamaica's track and field. A man who has the world championships and the Olympic titles under his belt. A man who is Jamaica's national record holder in the 110 meter hurdles. A man who has done sub 10. I mean the only thing missing from Omar McLeod's resume is the world record. Unfortunately, Omar placed last in the finals of the 110 meter hurdles at Jamaica's national trials and as such, he did not make the team. And the now national champion Ronald Levy, Damian Thomas and Anse Parchment finished 1-2-3 and they qualified for the Olympics. And practically immediately after the race ended, many people started to call for possibilities and different ways that may see Omar's inclusion in the team. When the J3 selection committee announced the squad for the Tokyo Olympics, Omar was not in there. I mean, not surprisingly, he finished last. Yes, Omar is the reigning Olympic champion. Omar is a national record holder. Omar is ranked number two in the world. But let's not forget that the three Jamaicans, Rana Levy, Damian Thomas, and Dancer Parchment are ranked in the top 10 in the world as well. So it's not like these three athletes have no quality either. They are able to represent themselves and the country on the highest level. Now, naturally, Omar McLeod would be disappointed. Many Jamaicans are disappointed. Many fans around the world are disappointed. And the different people have called at the J3As to try and find some way to include Omar, but it just never happened. Now, Omar broke his silence on the situation, and he had some things to say that, yes, he's heartbroken, yes, he's disappointed, yes, he's despondent, yes, he's sad, but bitterness is kind of a bad taste and he said some things where me kind of really find unfortunate he blamed the organizers for the schedule and mark you if the schedule is 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 not favorable for the athletes who are participating i mean that is not good however whatever condition omar was exposed to or whatever condition omar ran under all the other finalists in the 110 hurdle experienced same conditions Omar said that he was cramping up before the finals and he had sought a medical exemption and that was not granted. I don't know on what grounds it was rejected so I cannot speak to that. If that is the case though, it is a little bit unfortunate. Omar is saying that he was not given a fair chance. He did not get to go back to the hotel to eat. The final was 8 a.m. in the morning and all of these things. And I'm saying fine. If the organizers messed up like that, it is very unfortunate. But all the athletes competed under the same conditions. Yeah? And put it this way, if Omar did not have any issues in the final and finished the race in first place and say a handsome parchment did not qualify and answer was seeking this type of situation would omar be comfortable with that would omar be willing for the race to be rerun as some people were suggesting i'm not sure about that the hurdles itself is an obstacle race and many things happening in a hurdle race many things will continue to happen it is unfortunate i would have wanted to see omar representing us in tokyo because omar is possibly one of the few male hopeful as it relates to getting a medal. Omar apparently has also taken issue with the fact that none of the three between Ronald Levy, Damian Thomas and Anse Parchment reached out to him after the race. I mean the truth is I'm not certain that there is any obligation to do so. You understand? But I mean man and man couldn't reach out and say boy Omar Jaja, we're sorry if you know we're going and thing and thing and thing still. But then again, we don't even know the type of relationship where the man them share neither. He said that the only person within Jamaica's track and field who was at trials and thing who reached out to him was Elaine Thompson. Big up Elaine for that still. So yes, Omar has been a real champion for us. He has flown the flag very high and he always gives it his all. And it is a pity that he is not able to continue doing that. And I am certain that he would have probably managed to medal. But the rules are just the rules. I see Usain Bolt fall started in a final in, in Daegu, I think it was. And he might have come out of the race. That, I mean, it, it is just what it is. You understand? If you don't finish the race and you don't qualify, you cannot move on. Unfortunate situation. You understand? I mean, know that Omar hurt. I mean, know he's heartbroken and he's despondent. But let's not be bitter about the situation. I mean, it happens. It has happened before. Omar, big up yourself, youth. You understand? The thing's sad, but... You understand? I mean, I mean I know you're hurt, but... Bitterness is a bad taste, bro. 
teach them. Hey, yo, hello. Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Like the video before you go. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. And remember to share the video with your friends and family. And browse the channel for more quality content. Until next time, walk good, my friends. Teach them!